Brought to you by The Big Bang. Recognized around the universe as the beginning of time. I walk in, I type on the keypad, and then the door opens. It happens in that order. Time always runs the same way. It never goes backwards. Now we're aware of time because we notice that things happen one after another in sequence. We've got lots of ways of measuring time. We have sundials, watches, and clocks, and they're natural clocks too. Like we sleep at night, bees buzz during the day, and trees lose their leaves in the fall. Now all the ways that we measure time are based on how fast the Earth goes around the sun. Take a look at this. It's our Earth, Sun, Moon, time-keeping motion machine of science. Now here's the Earth out in space. It goes around the sun in this direction. Now for the Earth to get all the way around the sun, back to where it started, takes one year. So every year we have New Year's Day. Happy New Year! There's your birthday. Now that's my mom's birthday. And there are all the other important holidays and events that we mark on a calendar. And that takes one year. Now at the same time the Earth is going around the Sun, the Moon is going around the Earth. For the Moon to get all the way around the Earth takes a month. In fact, the word Moon and month come from the same word. Meanwhile, the Earth is spinning on its axis. The Earth is always turning, once every 24 hours. The center upon which the Earth turns is called its axis. The axis is an imaginary line through the Earth from the North Pole to the South Pole. So for the Earth to get all the way around the Sun, we call that a year. For the Moon to get around the Earth, we call that a month. And for the Earth to get all the way around, we call that a day. Now it took our ancestors thousands of trips around the Sun. Thousands of years to figure out how much time it takes for all of these things to happen. When you know how long it takes, you can figure out when to plant your crops, who won a race. It's like we live on a big clock. 